Yeah, yeah, he stole all my money. <laughs> oh, come on, play fast enough. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't got a job as a waitress somewhere. Ever wondered what happened to the iconic cast of Cheers? From their unforgettable moments at the bar to where they are now, get ready to dive into the incredible journeys of these TV legends. First airing in 1982, Cheers quickly captured the hearts of viewers and became a cultural phenomenon still celebrated today. Set in a cozy Boston bar where everybody knows your name, Cheers became synonymous with laughter, camaraderie, and the complexities of everyday life. The bar was not just a place to grab a drink, it was a vibrant hub of relationships, friendships, and sometimes even love stories. The show's clever writing and sharp wit provided a perfect backdrop for its unforgettable characters, each with their own quirks and storylines that kept audiences coming back for more. Sam Malone, played by Ted Danson, was the charming yet often flawed bartender with a complicated romantic history. Then there's Diane Chambers, portrayed by Shelley Long, whose highbrow intellect clashed beautifully with the bar's laid back vibe. Rhea Perlman's Carla Tortelli added a fiery spirit, delivering both humor and heart, while John Ratzenberger's Cliff Clavin brought an abundance of trivia and comic relief. And we can't forget George Wentz, Norm Peterson, the ultimate barfly whose loyalty and humor made him a fan favorite. Over the years, Cheers not only won multiple awards, including 28 Primetime Emmy Awards, but it also inspired numerous spin-offs, most notably the highly successful Frasier. Its influence can still be seen in many modern sitcoms, proving that the show's magic continues to resonate with audiences today. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the main cast members, exploring their lives during the show's run and revealing what they've been up to since the series finale in 1993. So grab your favorite drink, settle in, and join us as we revisit the world of Cheers and its beloved cast, then and now. Let's raise a glass to the unforgettable moments and characters that made Cheers a timeless classic. Overview of Cheers. Set in a cozy Boston bar where everyone knows your name, Cheers emerged as a beloved sitcom that beautifully encapsulated the essence of friendship, love, and community. From the moment it premiered on September 30th, 1982, audiences were invited into a space that felt like home, a neighborhood bar where laughter and camaraderie thrived. The show was created by the talented team of Glenn and Les Charles, alongside the legendary director James Burroughs, who masterfully crafted a series that resonated deeply with viewers. At its core, Cheers was more than just a backdrop for hilarious antics. It was a rich tapestry of human experiences. Each episode artfully balanced humor and heartfelt moments, capturing the complexities of life in a way that was relatable and engaging. The bar's regulars, a diverse ensemble of characters, faced their own challenges and triumphs, making them feel like an extended family. Viewers tuned in not just for the laughs, but to witness the evolution of these characters and their relationships. Over its impressive 11 season run, Cheers garnered a staggering 28 Primetime Emmy Awards, along with numerous nominations, establishing itself as a cornerstone of American television. The show's clever writing and sharp wit earned it critical acclaim, while its memorable catchphrases and iconic moments have become ingrained in pop culture. Who can forget the way Norm was greeted with a chorus of Norm, or the countless times Carla delivered her trademark biting humor? As we look back on this iconic series, it's clear that Cheers has left an indelible mark on television history. Its themes of friendship, belonging, and the shared human experience resonate as strongly now as they did decades ago. So grab your favorite drink and settle in as we delve deeper into the lives of the incredible cast that brought this remarkable show to life, both then and now. Let's meet the main cast who made Cheers a household name. Each character brought something unique to the table, contributing to the show's dynamic and rich storytelling. The chemistry among the cast was undeniable, creating moments that kept audiences laughing and crying throughout its run. Ted Danson as Sam Malone. First up, we have Ted Danson as Sam Malone. A former baseball player turned bartender, Sam is the embodiment of charm and charisma. From the moment he first appears behind the bar, it's clear that he knows how to draw people in with his magnetic personality. His quick wit and flirtatious nature made him a favorite among the bar's patrons, 
and viewers alike. Throughout the series, Sam finds himself in a variety of romantic escapades, often navigating the complexities of love and attraction with a mix of humor and vulnerability. One of the most compelling aspects of Sam's character is his on-and-off relationship with Diane Chambers, played by Shelley Long. Their dynamic was central to the storyline, showcasing the tension between Sam's carefree attitude and Diane's intellectual aspirations. Their flirtation and frequent clashes created a push and pull that kept audiences invested as they rooted for these two strong personalities to find common ground. Sam's growth over the seasons, from a fun-loving bartender to a man seeking a deeper connection, added emotional depth to the show and made his character relatable. During the show's original run, which lasted for 11 seasons, Ted Danson's portrayal of Sam Malone earned him widespread acclaim. He received numerous award nominations, including several primetime Emmy nominations, and won two Golden Globe Awards for Best Actor in a Television Series. Sam's character resonated with viewers, making him one of the most iconic figures in sitcom history. Since Cheers ended in 1993, Ted Danson has continued to thrive in Hollywood. He has taken on a diverse array of roles, showcasing his range as an actor. Notably, he starred in the critically acclaimed series Frasier and later achieved significant success with The Good Place, where he played the charming yet complex character Michael. Danson's performances in these roles earned him further accolades and reinforced his status as a versatile actor in both comedy and drama. Outside of acting, he has become an advocate for environmental causes, demonstrating his commitment to social issues. Shelley Long as Diane Chambers Next is Shelley Long as Diane Chambers, one of the standout characters of Cheers. Diane is a sophisticated and ambitious woman whose presence in the bar adds a touch of elegance and complexity to the dynamic. Often portrayed as the foil to Sam Malone's easygoing, carefree nature, Diane brings a unique energy that sparks intellectual debates and comedic tension throughout the series. From her very first appearance, Diane captivates both the patrons of the bar and viewers at home with her sharp wit and highbrow humor. A graduate of Harvard, she initially arrives at Cheers after her fiancé leaves her, setting the stage for her tumultuous relationship with Sam. Their interactions are a delightful blend of flirtation and friction, showcasing both characters' vulnerabilities and strengths. Diane's ambitious nature often clashes with Sam's laid-back lifestyle, leading to memorable exchanges that highlight their differences and mutual attraction. Diane is not just a romantic interest, she is a fully realized character with her own dreams and aspirations. Her journey throughout the series explores themes of identity, ambition, and the pursuit of happiness. As she navigates her feelings for Sam and her career aspirations, Diane's character evolves from a somewhat naive idealist to a more self-aware and grounded individual, making her arc both relatable and inspiring. During her time on Cheers, which spanned from 1982 until 1987, Shelley Long became a household name, earning critical acclaim for her portrayal of Diane. Her performance garnered several awards, including two Primetime Emmy Awards, and she was nominated for numerous others. Long's ability to seamlessly blend humor with poignant moments made Diane a beloved character, and her dynamic with Sam Malone became one of the show's defining elements. Long's portrayal of Diane Chambers showcased her range as an actress, allowing her to tackle both comedic and dramatic scenes with equal finesse. Her departure from the show after the fifth season was a significant moment in television history as Diane's character was pivotal to the series' success. Fans were left wondering how the dynamics of the bar would shift without her presence. Fast forward to today, and Shelley Long continues to impress audiences with her talent. Following her time on Cheers, she starred in a variety of films and television series, including Modern Family, where she played Dee Dee Pritchett, the quirky mother of the family. Her return to the small screen highlighted her comedic prowess and ability to adapt to new roles while still embracing the charm that made her famous. In addition to her acting career, Long has remained active in theater, bringing her talents to the stage and further showcasing her versatility as an actress. Though she has taken on fewer roles in recent years, her impact on television and her contributions to comedy remain significant. As we reflect on Shelley Long's journey from Diane Chambers to her current projects, it's clear that her character was not only a crucial part of Cheers, 
but also a defining role in her career. Long's ability to portray a strong, intelligent woman with depth and humor has left a lasting legacy, ensuring that Diane Chambers will always be remembered as one of television's iconic characters. Rhea Perlman as Carla Tortelli Rhea Perlman shines as Carla Tortelli, the fiery and fiercely loyal waitress who quickly became a fan favorite on Cheers. With her sharp tongue and no-nonsense attitude, Carla brings a unique blend of humor and heart to the bar making her one of the most memorable characters in the series. As a single mother of four, she navigates the challenges of life with a blend of sarcasm and strength, providing not just comic relief, but also some of the show's most poignant moments. Carla's character is defined by her quick wit and unapologetic honesty. She doesn't hesitate to speak her mind, often delivering zingers that keep the other characters and the audience on their toes. Her interactions with Sam, Diane, and the rest of the crew showcase her fiercely protective nature, especially towards her friends and family. Beneath her tough exterior, Carla has a big heart, and viewers get to see the depth of her character as she grapples with the complexities of motherhood, love, and friendship. One of the defining traits of Carla is her unwavering loyalty. Whether she's offering sage advice or throwing playful jabs at her coworkers, Carla's heart shines through her tough demeanor. Her character's journey includes her struggles as a single mother, her romantic misadventures, and her deep-seated desire for connection, making her relatable and endearing to audiences. During her time on Cheers, which ran from 1982 to 1993, Rhea Perlman received critical acclaim for her portrayal of Carla. Her performance earned her four Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series, a testament to her incredible talent and ability to connect with viewers. Perlman's comedic timing, coupled with her ability to deliver emotional depth, allowed her to shine in both humorous and serious moments. Carla's character became a source of strength for the bar's regulars, often acting as a voice of reason amidst the chaos. Whether she was sharing her tough love wisdom or navigating her own romantic entanglements, Perlman's portrayal added richness to the ensemble. Carla's interactions with characters like Norm, Cliff, and even her romantic interests highlighted her complexity and the layered nature of her personality. Today, Rhea Perlman continues to showcase her talent across various mediums. Following Cheers, she starred in numerous films and television shows, including a notable role in Matilda, where she played the loving yet quirky Miss Honey, showcasing her ability to blend humor and heart in family-friendly fare. She has also made guest appearances on popular series like The Mindy Project and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, reminding audiences of her exceptional comedic chops. Beyond acting, Perlman has pursued projects in theater, demonstrating her passion for the stage and her versatility as a performer. Her continued presence in the industry reflects her enduring appeal and talent, proving that she remains a beloved figure in the entertainment world. John Ratzenberger as Cliff Clavin John Ratzenberger plays Cliff Clavin, the lovable know-it-all mailman whose quirky charm and absurd trivia became a staple of Cheers. From his very first appearance, Cliff's character was instantly recognizable, thanks to his distinctive style and his unwavering confidence in sharing fun facts. Often regardless of whether anyone was interested, his relentless desire to impart knowledge, no matter how trivial, provided both humor and a unique dynamic to the bar's lively interactions. Cliff is often the butt of jokes from his friends, but that only adds to his endearing quality. His misguided certainty and eccentric anecdotes create a delightful contrast to the other characters, showcasing his obliviousness in the face of their skepticism. Whether he's regaling the group with bizarre statistics or getting caught up in his own convoluted stories, Cliff's antics bring a lightheartedness to the bar atmosphere that resonates with audiences. Ratzenberger's comedic timing and delivery make each of Cliff's lines memorable, contributing to some of the show's most iconic moments. Beyond his comedic persona, Cliff Clavin represents the theme of friendship in the series. Despite being somewhat socially awkward, he finds camaraderie among the bar's regulars, illustrating that true friendships can blossom in the most unlikely of circumstances. His interactions with characters like Norm Peterson and the bar staff highlight the warmth and humor inherent in their relationships, even when Cliff's facts tend to miss the mark. During his time on Cheers, which ran from 1982 to 1993, John Ratzenberger's portrayal of Cliff Clavin earned him widespread recognition and affection from fans. 
His character became a cultural icon, celebrated for his distinctive quirks and catchphrases. Ratzenberger appeared in nearly every episode of the series, solidifying Cliff's role as a beloved regular at Cheers. In addition to his role on Cheers, Ratzenberger's talent extended beyond the small screen. He became known for his work with Pixar, lending his voice to memorable characters in animated films such as Toy Story as Ham, Monsters, Inc. as the Abominable Snowman, and Finding Nemo as the School of Fish. This crossover into animated film solidified Ratzenberger's status as a versatile performer, beloved by audiences of all ages. Today, John Ratzenberger continues to be a vibrant presence in the entertainment industry. While he remains best known for his iconic role as Cliff Clavin, he has appeared in various television shows, films, and documentaries. He has made guest appearances on series like The Big Bang Theory and How I Met Your Mother, reminding audiences of his enduring comedic talents. In addition to acting, Ratzenberger has become an advocate for the arts and a passionate supporter of local communities. His dedication to preserving American craftsmanship and small businesses has led him to host documentaries showcasing the stories behind various trades and artisans. Enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Moving forward to George Wendt as Norm Peterson. And then there's George Wendt as Norm Peterson, the quintessential barfly of Cheers. Norm is a character that embodies the spirit of the show, warm, funny, and undeniably relatable. Known for his love of beer and quick wit, he quickly became one of the most beloved figures in the series. His larger-than-life personality and jovial nature made him a staple at the bar, where he often shared hilarious anecdotes and dry observations about life. Norm's iconic entrance, greeted by a chorus of Norm from the other patrons, became one of the most recognizable moments in television history. This warm welcome from his friends perfectly encapsulated the sense of community and camaraderie that defined Cheers. Viewers felt an immediate connection to Norm as he represented the everyman, a regular guy navigating the ups and downs of life, often with a beer in hand. Throughout the series, Norm's character also revealed deeper layers. He struggled with his career and personal aspirations, frequently lamenting his job as an accountant while dreaming of greater things. Despite his frustrations, Norm maintained a sense of humor and resilience, making his journey relatable to many viewers who have faced similar challenges. His interactions with Carla, Cliff, and the other bar regulars provided a comforting familiarity that resonated with audiences. During his time on Cheers, which spanned from 1982 to 1993, George Wendt's portrayal of Norm Peterson earned him critical acclaim and numerous award nominations. He became synonymous with the role, delivering memorable one-liners and embodying the essence of a barfly with unparalleled charm. Wendt's comedic timing was impeccable, allowing him to effortlessly balance humor with heartfelt moments, especially when he shared his dreams and disappointments with his friends. Wendt's character provided some of the most quotable lines from the show, from his deadpan remarks about life to his comical responses to the bar staff. Norm's character, with his love for beer and his iconic status, left an indelible mark on pop culture, making him a favorite among fans and critics alike. Today, George Wendt continues to enjoy a successful career in film and television. Following Cheers, he appeared in various projects, including films like Fletch and The Naked Truth, as well as guest roles on popular series such as The Big Bang Theory and Modern Family. His enduring presence in the industry speaks to his versatility as an actor and comedian. In recent years, Wendt has also ventured into theater, showcasing his talent on stage and further demonstrating his range as a performer. He has participated in various productions and has even returned to his roots in improv comedy, reminding fans of his comedic origins. As we reflect on George Wendt's journey from Norm Peterson to his current roles, it's evident that his character has left a lasting legacy. Norm Peterson remains a symbol of friendship, laughter, and the everyday struggles we all face, ensuring that Wendt's contributions to television comedy will always be cherished. Whether he's sharing a laugh at the bar or captivating audiences on stage, Wendt continues to embody the spirit of camaraderie that Cheers celebrated. Legacy of Cheers. Cheers has left an indelible mark on television history, and its influence continues to resonate even decades after its final episode aired. From its witty dialogue to its unforgettable characters, 
the series redefined what a sitcom could be. It inspired a wave of storytelling that prioritized character development and emotional depth, paving the way for the sitcoms we cherish today. One of the most notable legacies of Cheers is its successful spin-off, Frasier. Following the journey of the intellectual Dr. Frasier Crane, played by Kelsey Grammer, the show became a phenomenon in its own right, winning numerous awards and garnering a dedicated fan base. This spin-off is a testament to the rich world that Cheers created, proving that the bar and its patrons had so much more to offer than just a place to grab a drink. The iconic Cheers bar itself has become a cultural touchstone, representing more than just a watering hole. It embodies themes of friendship, acceptance, and the importance of community. Now let's talk about some behind the scenes insights and interesting facts. Creation and Development Cheers was created by the dynamic duo Glenn and Leigh Charles, alongside the talented director James Burroughs, who played a pivotal role in shaping the show's identity. The initial concept revolved around a simple yet compelling idea, a bar where patrons could gather to relax, unwind, and share their stories. This foundational premise resonated deeply with audiences as it tapped into the universal theme of connection, something that transcends time and place. From the outset, the creators aimed to craft a space that felt welcoming and familiar, allowing viewers to feel like they were part of the Cheers community. They drew inspiration from their own experiences in bars, understanding that these environments often serve as microcosms of society, where friendships form, lives intertwine, and laughter flows freely. This vision set the stage for an iconic ensemble cast and a rich tapestry of character-driven narratives that would ultimately make Cheers a cultural phenomenon. Filming Location Although Cheers is famously set in the heart of Boston, the majority of the show was filmed on a meticulously crafted soundstage in Hollywood. The creators were determined to capture the essence of a Boston bar, leading to a detailed set design that included authentic elements reflective of the city's unique character. Every aspect of the Cheers bar, from the warm wooden accents to the cozy booths, was designed to evoke the feel of a local watering hole, where regulars felt at home. To enhance authenticity, the production team incorporated various Bostonian touches into the set, such as memorabilia, signage, and decor that resonated with the city spirit. This attention to detail not only created a visually engaging environment, but also helped foster the sense of community that was central to the show. The decision to film in Hollywood allowed for greater control over production quality, ensuring that the charm and warmth of the bar translated effectively on screen. The theme song. The iconic theme song, Where Everybody Knows Your Name, was crafted by the talented duo Gary Portnoy and Judy Hartangelo. From the very first note, the song encapsulated the heart of cheers, resonating with viewers as an anthem of friendship and belonging. Its poignant lyrics reflect the idea of a place where people are welcomed, their stories valued, and their lives intertwined. A sentiment that became synonymous with the series, the song's catchy melody and relatable message quickly made it a beloved classic, and it played a crucial role in setting the tone for the show. Each episode began with the uplifting tune, inviting audiences into the Cheers community and reminding them of the warmth and camaraderie that awaited within those walls. Over the years, Where Everybody Knows Your Name has transcended its role as a theme song, becoming a cultural touchstone that evokes nostalgia and fond memories of the series. Its lasting popularity is a testament to the show's ability to connect with audiences on a personal level, highlighting the universal desire for friendship and connection. Character Origins Many characters in Cheers were inspired by real-life individuals, adding depth and authenticity to their portrayals. For instance, John Ratzenberger's character, Cliff Clavin, was modeled after a quirky mailman he knew, whose penchant for sharing odd facts and trivia became a defining trait of Cliff. This real-life inspiration allowed Ratzenberger to infuse the character with genuine eccentricity, making Cliff a relatable yet hilariously misguided presence at the bar. Similarly, Rhea Perlman based her character Carla Tortelli on her own experiences as a waitress. Drawing from her time in the service industry, Perlman infused Carla with a fierce independence, sharp wit, 
and a no-nonsense attitude that resonated with many viewers. This authenticity made Carla's struggles and triumphs feel real, contributing to her status as a beloved character. The creator's commitment to developing multi-dimensional characters grounded in reality helped shape the show's enduring appeal and connection with audiences. Casting Choices Interestingly, Ted Danson and Shelley Long were not the first choices for the roles of Sam Malone and Diane Chambers. The creators initially considered other actors before realizing the incredible chemistry between Danson and Long during auditions, which ultimately convinced the producers that they were the perfect fit for these iconic roles. Danson's portrayal of Sam, a charming yet flawed former baseball player turned bartender, and Long's interpretation of Diane, an ambitious and sophisticated woman, provided the perfect balance needed for the show's central love story. Cameos and Guest Stars Throughout its 11-season run, Cheers showcased an impressive array of guest stars, further enhancing its appeal and showcasing the talent of the time. One of the most notable appearances was that of Kelsey Grammer, who guest starred as Dr. Frazier Crane before eventually becoming a series regular in the spin-off Frasier. His character was introduced as a pompous psychiatrist, and his dynamic with the bar's regulars added an intriguing layer to the show's interactions. Grammer's portrayal was so well-received that he went on to anchor his own successful series, demonstrating the lasting impact of Cheers on television history. Another standout guest appearance came from Woody Harrelson, who joined the cast as Woody Boyd, a lovable and naive bartender from Indiana. His character quickly became a fan favorite, contributing to the show's humor and heart. B.B. Newworth also made her mark as Lilith Sternan, Frasier's sharp-tongued wife. Newworth's portrayal brought a unique dynamic to the show, often providing comic relief through her interactions with Frasier and the other characters. The inclusion of these talented guest stars not only enriched the storylines, but also contributed to the overall legacy of Cheers, making it a true melting pot of talent. Emmy Awards. Cheers' impact on television was undeniable, as evidenced by its remarkable awards record. Over its illustrious run, the show garnered an impressive 28 Primetime Emmy Awards, including the prestigious Outstanding Comedy Series. This recognition was a testament to the show's excellence in writing, acting, and production. The series was nominated for a staggering 117 awards in total, reflecting its widespread acclaim and influence on the television landscape. The show's ability to tackle complex themes while delivering laugh-out-loud humor resonated with audiences and critics alike. Its ensemble cast, led by the brilliant performances of Ted Danson, Shelley Long, Rhea Perlman, and others, created a synergy that brought the characters to life in a way that felt genuine and relatable. This success not only solidified Cheers as a hallmark of the 1980s and 1990s television, but also set a high standard for sitcoms that followed. As we raise our glasses and wrap up this nostalgic journey through the world of Cheers, one thing is crystal clear. This beloved sitcom has truly earned its place as a television classic. Whether you were lucky enough to catch it during its original run in the 1980s and 90s, or you've recently fallen in love with it through reruns or streaming, Cheers remains a timeless gem. It's more than just a show. It's a cultural touchstone that continues to resonate with audiences across generations. Its perfect blend of sharp humor, unforgettable characters, and heartwarming moments has secured its place in the annals of television history. At its core, Cheers speaks to universal themes of friendship, love, and the simple joys of life. But perhaps what has kept Cheers so beloved, even decades after its final episode aired, is its ability to connect with viewers on a deeper level. It wasn't just about the laughs, though the show provided plenty of those. It was about the relationships between the characters, the way they supported each other, and the sense of community they created. In a world that often feels disconnected, Cheers offered a vision of a place where everyone is welcome, where everyone belongs. As we close this chapter on Cheers, we'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and share your favorite Cheers moment. Whether it's a hilarious one-liner, a memorable scene, or a touching moment that still tugs at your heartstrings. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into your favorite shows and characters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this walk down memory lane with Cheers, be sure to check out our other videos for more nostalgic trips through TV history. 
From iconic sitcoms to unforgettable dramas, we're here to celebrate the shows and characters that shaped pop culture. Here's to more great memories ahead. Cheers!